Very well better today, just uh, well better today. Just how disappointed are you that you, had, you didn't get three pickers? Yeah, uh, obviously it was a good opportunity. Dean and uh, Aiden gave us a nice base, so it's easier to come in at three um, and play the way I did. Um, like you said, obviously I was disappointed not to get over the line. Um, I think try to get a little bit too greedy with that particular ball. Um, but I'll, at the end of the day, I'm happy to, to contribute towards the score and towards the team's performance. Oh, we're going to go to Ken in third. Yeah, Tony, well better. Um, you were out there most of the day. It, it seemed to be a pitch that had several changes of character uh, through the day. Could you just uh, talk to us about those? Yeah, spot on. It did change a little bit throughout the day. Like Ed and I said, when we started, it was a bit soft, but um, it was still a bit of moisture in the wicket. Um, and then after lunch tea, it started quickening up. Um, as you could see towards the end of the day, the Knicks were carrying, um, I think it got a little bit harder under the sun. So yeah, it did change um, throughout the day. Good. Well, hi, Tony. Well, um, could you talk to us a little bit kind of more generally about your experience of obviously doing so well in the first class summer and you know, for several seasons, and now coming and playing test cricket and you know, do, doing pretty well, almost getting to 100 today. Like, what has this whole journey been like? Yeah, I think um, when this, this series is done, I'll probably have an opportunity to step back and assess everything. Obviously, it's still very exciting for me um, being in the change room with the guys I am, am with. Um, I think it helps that, like you said, I've got a few runs, so it gives you a bit of confidence and it gives you um, something to fall back on. Um, so, yeah, I think for me, it's just learning as quickly as I can so that I can, like I said earlier, try to cement my place, contribute. Um, and ultimately, once you get here, I think you want to you want to stay here. So. And I heard your mom was quite anxious in the stands waiting for you to get that century. Um, what was it like, you know, having your family and I suppose you went to school in this, these parts and you know just being here? Uh, yeah, there's a couple of friends uh, uh, here. Some people that are, claim to be my friends, but I've never met them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, it's always nice to have my mom uh, watching. Um, obviously, I'm in Cape Town, so she hasn't been able to watch a lot of the games uh, when I'm playing for province. So this is just, it's, it's quite nice. Um, I could see she usually sits in the same place, so I knew where she was. So, um, yeah, I was happy that she was able to watch me. And hopefully next time she comes, I can get three figures. recent months and even over the past year or so a fair bit of soul searching in the test team about batting and about not getting the big scores. So, so I was just wondering from when you were from the outside playing first class cricket in particular, did you sense particularly coming into this summer that there was a real opportunity for you and, and how much was that, you know, I, I guess a carrot for you and something to strive for? Uh. I'd say at Province, I was lucky. Uh, KV was there, Pawnee was there, guys that had played for South Africa, and they kind of spoke about things you need to do um, to, you know, give yourself the best chance technically and and um, with your character and stuff like that. And I think with the changes in coaching and all that kind of things, we kind of knew that it would be a fresh start. And if everyone gave themselves an opportunity and did well, you know, it would be a fresh set of eyes and maybe more opportunities and stuff like that. So I think that was exciting. Um, and yeah, there was always the message from senior guys. Dean said it while he was captain that weight of runs will get you in the side. So guys knew that if they wanted to, you know, to make the step up, they had to have a good season. Um, there was no other way about it. So I think, yeah, I don't know. That would be my answer. <laughs> so, uh, I know you knew in the side and probably only focusing on, on submitting your players and so. But I was wondering do, if you look at the bigger picture, um, I think you're 25 or something now. Um, is it sort of disappointing for, for you for you guys uh, coming in now that there's only 28 tests in the next cycle of four years? I mean, if you guys have an aim to play 100 tests, you probably have to plan to do 40 or something. Um, is that something you think about or do you just take it game by game or is it, is it a disappointment for, for you, the young guys in the first class system? Well, I think I'm firstly just happy to be and be selected. I think those kind of things will you obviously hear those chats in the change room and you might contribute to them. I think KG mentioned it, that we obviously want to be playing more, more test cricket. I mean, you look at the amount of wickets he's taken and compared to the amount of games he's played on that list, it's just, yeah, it's a bit startling. So if we were maybe given those opportunities, you obviously give young batters an opportunity to learn, learn their game, um, fail bowlers included as well. So yeah, obviously you'd like to play more test cricket. My generation still, even though I'm 25, grew up on test cricket. That's the one you want to play first. And then um, 
the other format. So I think, yeah, obviously we would love to play more. I'd love to play more. Um, but I obviously need to score runs and stay in the team first. Thanks, Anissa. Thank you very much. Good evening to and congratulations. Can you just talk us through how you've managed um, your batting expectations through your career? Because we've seen a, long, uh, a good progression of under 19 captains coming through. Um, at provincial level, that you just one of many you've actually now pushed through and find yourself playing at the highest level? Um, yeah, I think um, from playing SN in 19, a lot has changed in, in my life. I think most of the guys, I think Vian was at my World Cup, there was a lot of guys, <laughs> things change. Um, you, I wasn't a, um, although I was captain, I wasn't the, the star boy out of that, that side, so I had to go back to club cricket and start again. Um, so yeah, it's been a long, a long process. Um, I'm happy that it eventually has led to this, um, but it's also a reminder of where I come from, to be honest, not to get ahead of myself because I've had to do a lot of dirty work to, to, to get there. And yeah, I'm grateful that there's guys like Kruger who gave me an opportunity in the change room at Tux. Um, so there's a bit of familiarity there. So um, yeah, I think as a young batter, you obviously with more experience, you, you grow. Um, some guys it happens a bit earlier and mine's starting to happen now, I think. Thanks, apologies. We're going to go Ken first, then Clouford. Then we'll wrap up with what I've said. Um, Tony, the ball that did eventually bowl you um, seemed to turn quite a lot. Um, day one, uh, does that make your change? I'm pretty happy that you guys have made the right selection and um, would you say you're pretty well placed after the first day? Yeah, I think Aidan and I had an opportunity um, to, to you know, really put a nail in the coffin kind of thing on day one and set our stall up. But um, yeah, there was a bit of turn. Um, I think it, it gives us a lot of confidence, the fact that we still got Kesh and Simon bowling on that kind of wicket um, to their batters. Those are two world-class spinners in our team. So we obviously are positive and confident that we've made the, the right decision. Tony, you said a lot of uh, diplomatic things articulately about your journey to this level here tonight. I mean, um, but I wonder, as a, as a young batter who was performing consistently season after season in domestic cricket, were, were there stages where you, where you went, what else have I got to do to get into this test team? Was, was there any kind of, did you feel impatience coming up in you at any stage? I think there's, there were definitely moments where you, you might get a little bit impatient, but I was, I played with, at that time I had a, a lot of senior guys, Putters was with us at Province for a while, and you hear some of those stories and then it just gives you a bit of a, reality check that yeah you might be impatient at 25 but there were guys that were averaging 40 50 in an area where they just never got a chance putters you look at milan um so yes you might feel aggrieved but you actually have no right to feel like that you just have to wait your chance and when you get it hopefully you can take it Yeah, I think it is a young batting unit, it is developing. I think you have to give kudos to Dean and Aiden because both of the times we got over 300, they've started well with the, with the new ball, which always makes a, a big difference for the rest of the batting lineup. It is a process. Guys are, there's a few guys that haven't even played double, uh, double digit games as batters. So it's, it's definitely going to take some time, but hopefully it will come. It's really ta talented guys, guys like Rickleton coming in. So I'm sure those um, stats will start becoming more and more positive. Uh, yeah, I think the system does give guys an opportunity to prepare for international cricket. I think um, the basics remain the basics. Things just probably happen for a little bit longer. You get less bad balls. So th just things you have to get used to. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm quite fortunate province. You, in a net session, you're going to face Berger, Mareki, uh, Pato, Bizi, guys that could all play international cricket. So you're definitely going to learn every day. Um, and then I think it's just the onus is on you to do your preparation and back what you have. Uh, yeah, like I said, I think they just probably stick to basics for a bit longer. I think you might get a few less bad balls. Obviously, in international cricket, they are going to do their homework. I could see from the way they bowled to me today compared to the 
first first innings, not the other one where I got a duck. Um, that they obviously had different plans. They obviously know once you're in how to limit you down or limit your scoring options. So I'd say those are probably the the challenges. And obviously the intensity is a little bit higher. Like I was really tired. So at the, when, once I was out, so obviously it's it's challenging. But um, yeah, it's it's good quality bowlers. Tony, um, you, you look very comfortable in your in your first innings at this level, and we've spoken about all the different challenges you have to overcome today. Is that a measure of the maturity in your game now? Do do you feel like you're a mature player? When you're obviously still a young player, but do you feel like you've kind of worked out your game? No, I think there's areas I could always improve on. I think um, with age, like you said, I have I have matured. Um, and yeah, I think things just happen for players at different times. Um, maybe it could have happened earlier for me and um, if you get dropped, maybe you don't have the ability to bounce back. So everything's, I suppose, you just have to trust the path, whoever's in control. And then, um, yeah, I think I have grown, I have matured, maybe moving to a different province, being, out of, being away from home, matures you, grow up, those kind of things, I think impact your game.